A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. Mr. Lynch has agreed to your terms. In exchange, he will be fighting with electrochemical bombs. He sends his highest regards and encourages you to bring your bravery. Better check the back. to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my home. You should be on the stage, sir. This way. Has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. 
I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary. Surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Starrick, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Starrick some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <sighs> you have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, my carriage. Shall we? <laughs> this way. Well, you don't expect me to go alone, do you? Take the reins. Driver. To St. Pancras, and don't spare the horses. I thought you and Starrick would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, you know, he required my services to train his gang leaders, but the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jacob. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering? The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Starrick and Co. And you intend to steal it? What? No! There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starrick's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station.
Someday, you blighters will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. You down. Be ashamed to stop now. Explosives, months ago. That's a fact. My brother is dead. 
because of a attack. <laughs> One shipment left. What we got here? Now to find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. Didn't go as planned. Better find someone else. So kind as to get it some steam. will be on his knees in no time. My hat is off to you. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again. Beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> 
I planned a perfect second out in forests. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Staric's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Jacob, our carriage awaits. You know how it is. You drive. <laughs> These cowardly fools under Steric have built their own prisons. It's a dreadful waste. They could be building gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? It's not built. I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Staric interest himself with art? He's hired a fiend. Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. Ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She finished a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw he pinched it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? She holds down the sewers, sir. Terribly sorry. It's just... I was to meet my brother here, but I... Of course it's sewers. Why the bloody sewers? Make 
a sound and it'll be your last. Uh, tell Mr. Starrick his next delivery's on its way. And tell him too that I've grown tired of these working conditions. It wasn't Starrick who sent me. Then who? Maxwell Roth sends his regards. What a pleasant surprise. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick. You'll be hearing from Mr. Starrick, Roth. Why the Alhambra? I look forward to it. Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away. Thank you. 
We're fast friends now, aren't we? What's the meaning of this? Did Rob send you? The villain! You have your villains mixed up, Mr. Raffles. The man you work for is the real villain here. Oh, no good will come of that. Yeah, it's all bad my, my most oh. fragrant Raffles. How oh. very good to see you again. Oh. 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 well, Roth. It's into the back with you, then. Who is this Lewis that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solid. But always so polite. And he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swineborn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Steric's ties to the police force. He must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Bees give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland, you are. Let's see what's happening. 
Shall we? Oh, my feet are killing me now. Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. <laughs> Looks oh, like but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. Excellent work. Do come find me at the Elabra. I have more amusements planned for us. Ah! This way, my dear. I've something to show you. Where are we going? 
one of Starik's workshops, where they build weapons for his army. When the world is full of nasty things, we must tear those things apart. A man like Starik builds a world around his own design. Let's go. In you. you must see the potential, dear Jacob. This workshop is one of Sterics. Set the dynamite and let's blow it to atoms. Together. That's one. What in hell? I'll check out where that noise was coming from. Two minutes. There. Set. And done. Don't do that again. I'm not in the mood for it. <sighs> You're asking for the crashing. Thank <laughs> you. 
rigged up. Perfect! Let's put our plan into action. Stand back! Ready! Wait! Whatever for? There are children in there. Jacob, my dear. Starek uses child labor to manufacture goods. We must put an end to his production line. But not like this. Why not? I can do whatever I damn well please. Soon, you will understand what it is to be free, as I am. Light them up, boys! No! What the hell are you doing? We're not playing games anymore, Roth! No. We're not. Mr. Roth. You should be warned, Mr. Fry, that when Roth is angry with one, he generally brings suffering to many. My dearest Jacob, alas, it seems our adventures together have come to a close. Although our time together was brief, it's left a lasting mark. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Cordially, Maxwell. Post scriptum. I'm putting on a show this evening. All of London will be there. Enclosed, please find your invitation.
Gentlemen, this entrance is for masks. Then let's proceed. I am delighted. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Alhambra Music Hall. Tonight we have, for one night only, a very special performance of Corvus the Trickster. While some of the effects may be visceral and highly disturbing, do not be alarmed, my good people. Fear not, this is a purest form of entertainment. Tonight's performance immortalizes and is for the benefit of a young fellow very near and dear to my heart. Any concerns or complaints may be addressed to him. <laughs> this sort of evening... Jacob, dear boy, tonight is for you. We'll be serving you this evening, gentlemen. You're still here, love. Last time, I swear, you nearly poisoned us. Scene two, stand by. Let me out! I need to lower the grip for the show! They want another glass of pale ale. Just <laughs> Says he'll have me up there, on the stage, before you know it. We have a volunteer! A big round of applause for this brave, brave man! Oh, Our volunteer you know? is about to die for you, Jacob. You lucky people are about to witness this gentleman being fired upon at point-blank range. Our performer will hit several targets placed around his head. Exciting, is it not? Oh, 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 oh. Will our honored guest go unharmed? We raise your hardy bunch. Let's put that hardiness to the test. You'll never get on. What a thrill! Do not fret, my friends. It's all part of the show. Please stay with us as we prepare for the next turn. Oh my! 
are your principles drifting, dear? That's a daisy. Tom Watchley. If he's not wrath, leaves a strange taste in your mouth, doesn't it? Like eating pork when expecting venison. We found a suitably flat-headed gentleman for this one. <laughs> you, you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but I assure you that is the case. I have no doubt that you could hazard a guess as to what this one concerns, my friend. Our courageous participant hasn't even flinched! Now I'm standing a few feet away, our performer absolutely throws his knives at the apple, slicing it in two. Will he or won't he? Something like stress passes! Where is he? The search consumes you. Creed forgotten, prey visualized, mouth watering. Excuse me, love. Just looking for the lavatory. Who's over there? Thanks. Stop that trespassing! No one. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your evening so far, ladies and gentlemen. I know I have. Now, before our final act, I would like to toast all you brave people who joined us tonight to celebrate life. And death. Go on! Toast them! <laughs> Your move, Jacob, my dear! Burn! 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 Turn up that! <laughs> Of legends. Why did you do it? All of it. What? 
Snap a baby crow's neck between my thumb and forefinger. Slice to bits the ones you deem innocent. Keep the world in its divine, manic state. For the same reason, I do anything. Why not? <laughs> this place from hell to Hackney. Ah! I'll never make it out alive. Disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupine has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It's up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. prevent a return of the Dark Ages. I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on, better to get visual verification. If we're gonna move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Starrick's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you call father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right. He never approved of your methods. Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. 
Once more for old time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? <laughs>